Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be working on some DIY Ray Dunn inspired. So what I'm doing is just creating stuff that is similar to like her fonts and stuff like that, like this. Now I don't, I'm not making this video so people can go out there and like sell this or, you know, this is just for if you're wanting to make it on a budget or if there's a few pieces that you can't find. So if you can't find a bowl, you could always just make your own. Now the bowls that I'm using today, I have gotten from Walmart, which are 88 cents. So I think they're super affordable. And then the cups were also 88 cents. I'm only getting to do two today because I can only find two of the cups at our store, but these are 88 cents and then the bowls are 88 cents. And then I'm also going to show you guys how to make these super cute towels today. And um, it comes with a pack of five from Walmart. And I don't remember if they were, let me show you really quick. I don't remember, it comes in a wrapper like this and it's the mainstays brand it's called flower sack towels and i don't remember if it was like two something or four something you know me i'm never good with prices but it's going to come in a five count these are where like the hand towels and all that stuff is it was at the very end of our aisle so i'm going to I already made three today we're going to make two on here got two cups i already made one and then we got four bowls i've already made two and we're going to make two more and then we are also going to have a giveaway so um, i've noticed that ray dunn is a very big thing i really did not know this until i watched ken's creations video the other day and um so i thought well i gotta get on the bandwagon because everybody's making these videos so we gotta check it out so um me and my sister-in-law went to uh, tj maxx we found these plates there is four of them and they're the real deal it's got the sticker on the back i'll show them a little bit more in a minute but um, you're going to be able to win these four dishes and then i'm also going to be giving away the towels so one person's going to win all the dishes as well as all the towels that i make today so there will be five towels um and so this will run two weeks but it's going to end on the 19th and then on the 20th we'll do the drawing and um we'll announce live who won on the 20th and then what i'll do is i will email you as well as announce it on here and then just email me back and then i'll get them shipped to you so this is for somebody that's having a hard time maybe trying to find these or knows a family member or friend or just wants some more dishes check out the giveaway i have it in the now um and then i also have it on my facebook page so what you need to do is um check out my facebook page i would appreciate if you follow me i'm trying to build that up and then my instagram as well i'm also trying to build that up currently so if you could go check that out and that would be great and then on youtube it is mandatory that you do have to be subscribed to my channel in order to win this so that's the only thing that's mandatory but if you want to get in a couple extra drawings all you got to do is um, check out my instagram and my facebook page so Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to switch you guys down here really quick so we can check out what all we have going on here. So I'll now check comments here in just a little bit. So what we're going to work on, like I said, these towels, they are called flower sack towels and they come just like this now. Um, and they're folded actually something like this in the package like that. So what I do is I don't even unfold them all the way. I just unfold them in half. Let me figure that out. All right. So I just fold them, unfold them in half. And then what I do is I lay it down and have my easy press just kind of iron that out for me really quick. And then I put down my, um, put down my iron on stuff. Now, um, I'm not, how do I explain this? Um, because I'm more making these, the reason why I'm like not unfolding them and making sure they're precise is I think of these more as decor. So that's why I'm doing it that way. Now, if you were going to be using these, you may want to unfold it and fold it correctly to the way that you want it. So it can fold back each time. So we've got that. Then these bowls, now obviously they're different than Ray Dunn's because I think hers come down just a little bit more. Um, but like I said, these are 88 cents. This is the May stain brand 88 cents um, i'm not too sure which ones are at the dollar tree i know they've got the cups that we've always used before but i really like these ones i know they don't match exactly what she's got going on but just saying i mean because i know it's affordable because say that these are like 4.99 a piece or you know 4.99 whatever they are um i could make this for 88 cents so it's still on a budget for me because i know that it's still kind of affordable but not when you're buying like a million pieces so this was what i would find affordable to make that myself to have that farmhouse decor if you're on a budget okay so like i said the bowls came and they're actually going to look like this just this plain white and they do come with a sticker inside that says stoneware and that they are durable and scratch resistant so that's nice now the um 
the regular vinyl that's going to go on these bowls that I used today, I did not use iron on these, just regular vinyl. I used a mat. So a, I believe it was the, I don't know if it was Expressions or it was Oracle, but um, it doesn't matter as long as it's matte. And I have a link down in below to Expressions. Um, but I tried to use the matte and not the glossy. Now one of them I had an issue with that I put on here already, this thankful. Whenever I was weeding it, um, it was, I know I keep, I think I keep trying to look at the wrong camera, but anyways, I'm here. So, um, when I was weeding the word thankful, it was so hard. Like it was just kind of messing up and stuff. Cause these are super tiny, skinny letters. So I'm going to show you a trick with that here in just a minute. So I had to recut it out, but I didn't have enough matte at that point that this is actually glossy. No big deal. Um, which means that it's permanent. So the other ones are, re I always just use, I mean, on my cups, it's no big deal. You can use permanent, which would be the glossy if that's what you want to do. Or I use the, um, what do they call it? I guess, it, I don't know if it's brief. Is this, no, what do they call it? Why can I not talk about that? But it's not permanent. You know what I mean? But anyways, um, if you're going to be using these to wash, just let them set out for a couple days. Cause like, um, they have said before, and, um, you've seen, I don't know if you've seen several videos on this or I like, I've talked about it, but if you let it set for a while, you can actually set it out in the sun a little bit. The more that the non-permanent stuff sets, it actually becomes permanent. Then start washing them and it's going to be just fine. I've never really had a dish issue at all with my cups. So, but this is a skinny font, but I'm fixing to show you a trick with that to revert, rev first weed that and then like as I already went over these so we're going to iron these on um, I'm going to show you in design space really quick how I did the cups here um, and then we'll work on so we're doing two towels two bowls and one cup today and like I said you can win these super cute dishes are these not adorable let me zoom you guys in don't know if you guys have seen these yet but they're black dishes are super cute so this is what they look like and you can see that they did come from TJ Maxx they're $4.99 they say Ray Dunn um, so I just figured we would give them away. So if I can, and I may do some more of these in the future because we're not collecting it personally. Let me see how I can zoom out here. Uh, we're not collecting them personally, so um, it, maybe it'll help you guys out. Now, also, um, me and my sister-in-law are kind of like, I don't know, this stuff is really cute. Now we kind of want like this farmhouse stuff. But hey, maybe I can find pieces that you can't. We could do some giveaway with it. All right, so let me go ahead and carefully set these out of the way because they don't belong to me. They belong to one of you guys. I'm going to set that out of the way. Now, I do want to talk about um, this right here. This is heat transfer tape, which we're going to use in the video today with our iron on. I've talked about it before, but I recently, had a brand reach out to me and it is Pam, Pam Eso. I have it linked down in the description below. They sell two of these in a pack. It's super affordable um, and it'll last you forever. So if you watch anybody that has like the big heat presses, a lot of them use this heat tape because it doesn't melt. That way you can really hold these in position. So I'm going to show you that today. But they did reach out today and um, offered to, well not today, the other day. They offered to send me some to test out, which like I said, I've, I've used it in the past and I absolutely love it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you today, but in a later video, I'm actually going to give these away and some of this iron on that I've been getting and just do a big giveaway with that so that's pretty cool but I'm gonna show you how to use it today and then I'm um, showing you how to put these on so let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna go ahead and check your guys's comments really quick let's see oh my goodness there's a lot of you guys okay so um hi everybody let's see hi, ranch wife hi um Tina from Washington State uh, Deborah from Texas, Amanda Luna, hello, that's my sister, guys. So, Amanda, also today, if anybody has questions, maybe you can answer them down below. So, always remember, Amanda Luna is my sister. She may be able to help you guys, too. So, Judith, hello from Georgia. Maria from Springfield, um, is that Montana? Um, Bonnie from Texas. Lori Nunemaker, so fun. Ken did these uh, um, after mine. It's definitely popular. Yes, Lori, I've seen that you did these and Ken. Um, and I thought they were super cute. I also seen, and I was going to write it down, but I forgot to. It's a screenshot on my phone. Um, I don't know if you guys use the font, the skinny or not from defont.com, but um, I really want to recognize her because that's where I got that font from. But I thought they were super cute, so we are joining the bandwagon and doing it today. So Julie from Chandler, Arizona. Brittany Smith, I need to learn the reverse weed. Oh, you're about to learn, because like I said, it was happened to me, and I thought, well, it's a good thing, so I'm gonna, I printed it again. And Chalk Labs, oh my gosh, we never have it, have it around here. Thanks, I ordered it. Okay, so... Um, like I said, don't worry. I definitely think, um, thank you, Amanda. And then hello from Florida. Okay, so I definitely think it's a good idea because I don't personally, like we're not collecting it. So maybe I can find some of these popular pieces. I can look, I know that obviously like I try 
words today that were popular like yum i looked it up and it said that this was popular mine cereal and something else you'll see here in a minute and um i will try to look for those i'll try to look like the cookie jars and stuff and then i can just do giveaways here so you guys can try to get it so um, my sister-in-law thought about it last night and I thought that was a really good idea um, and I actually have the pumpkin so let me know in the comments below I actually have the pumpkins um, little measuring cups that go inside each other and I don't know if you guys are interested or not but I could do another giveaway on that one as well I just didn't know if anybody was interested and I'll try to bring it in just a minute and show you guys let me actually grab it really, really quick the mic may kind of get movable so hold on Okay, so this is those little measuring cups that I'm talking about. They just kind of dip inside of each other. And they say like half a cup and all that stuff has the cute little pumpkins. And um, I just thought this would be, it's really heavy. And I was afraid if I put it with the black stuff to, to melt off, it may break it. So we'll do a separate giveaway. Like I said, let me know if anybody's interested and I'll do another giveaway with this one as well. Okay, I think that froze but you guys can probably still hear me. All right, so I'm gonna put my mic back on my shirt. All right, so let's get started. So let me go ahead and get my iron going first so I can already have that ready to go. So whenever we get to it, 305. All right, there we go. All right, so let's move these out of the way and get ready to go. Let's go ahead and start with the, let me try to think. Also, my sister-in-law had this cute little box today. This is what we're gonna use to set our bowl in to get the iron on it. So you wanna find something to kinda of hold your bowl up a little bit, and that's what I'm gonna use. I think I keep freezing on my side, hopefully not. Hopefully you guys can still see me. Oregon in the house, I use Skinny Chalk Labs. I love that, okay, so you guys have used it. Michigan here, um, hi, let's see. Um, okay, so hello to everybody, and here we go. All right, hopefully I didn't miss anybody's comments, so let's get started here. So let me go ahead and let's do our bowls first. Well, no, I keep saying all over the place. Let's do our cup first. So what I did with the cup is I just took my towel. You could take any towel you already have on hand. And I like to just kind of get it underneath the handle here to kind of get it to hold in place. And then what you want to do, the very first step you want to do is, and let me zoom y'all in a little bit so y'all can see. All right, just like that. All right, so the very first step that you want to do is you want to take some alcohol and I like to use usually the um, lint-free microfiber rags, but I don't have one today. We're using just this paper towel. You really wanna clean your surface first with alcohol. So that way um, your stuff doesn't have those oils and it will stick really well. All right, so just like this. There we go. Super cute. All right, so um the one that i'm going to do for this cup is sweater weather so i just cut out sweater weather because i noticed that one was popular me and my sister-in-law also seen those big tall cups um uh, that are out right now too and it said thankful and we just we weren't sure we didn't it didn't seem like anybody was getting those like we just don't know so but like i said i'll start trying to grab that stuff up for you guys all right so here we go so what i'm gonna do hopefully you guys can see me let me scoot that up I've got this here. I'm using my contact paper from the Dollar Tree. I've just got me a little piece here, which is actually a big piece, but I just use my scraps. Um, I'm just gonna get that down just like that. Take my scraper tool and really get that picked up. Just like that. As soon as we get done here, we're gonna go over to Design Space. I'm gonna show you how I worked on these here and how I got the measurements. All right, so let me scoot this back down here. All right, so I this is exactly where I want it so all I'm going to do is I like to go from the center here and then drop down so I'm just going to kind of make sure that's as even as possible and I'm not being able to stand over this because of the camera so hopefully it goes pretty good and then all I do is just kind of smooth it out it works really good when you work from that center and then drop it down all right so we'll just get these on here just like that and now like I said I want to make it very 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 clear I don't like when people like copy other people's stuff so like i don't i'm not doing this so people can go sell it or anything like that because i was kind of hesitant um it was funny because whenever i seen um uh ken's video the other day i thought why does everybody keep doing this ray dunn who is she why are they copying her then i realized it was dishes but i just want to make that clear i just don't want to have any issues of ray dunn you know i don't want people to be trying to make these and sell them and stuff like that because this is her idea okay so there is sweater weather it's on there really good 
and uh, so I'm gonna set this aside and like I said a tip if you will set this where it's kind of warm don't stick it in the oven um, but where it's warm so like this summer or this summer this winter set them by your fireplace just to kind of get that vinyl heating up a little bit it's actually going to adhere to this so much better and just last a long time so just a tip so there's that one isn't it cute easy peasy lemon squeezy all right hi kitty hi Brittany. that is also she is my um cousin so and then hello from texas okay so here we go we're going to keep going so we've got two bowls so what i'm going to do for the bowls is i'm going to set it down you just want to find something that can hold this up you know up straight and then I'm going to take some towels here, which you could just take old wash rags, whatever you have, and kind of get it to hold it like that for me, just like that. Once again, I'm going to take me some alcohol on a paper towel here and get this cleaned up, just like this. But I am like, this is how um, stuff like this happens, you know, because I hadn't heard of this at all until um, my kid creations, like I said. So he's now has... I mean, he's created a problem because now we're looking at this thinking, oh my gosh, this stuff is so cute. But that is how like, you know, overnight, like we have seen this stuff in ours so many times, but we didn't know it was a thing. And um, I remember seeing the cereal where it said cereal and I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. Like I need that, you know, but like I never knew. But then it's like once it's a thing, everybody has to have it. And then we're all broke. All right. So here we go. So you've seen how I just kind of rubbed that on, picked it up. And this is what I do with, with a more round surface like this. So what I do, kind of figure out exactly where it's going. I just getting, I just have the top, just like that, just the very top of that. I'm gonna individually get each letter and just slowly push those down, just like that, individually. One at a time, pushing those down. It just really helps so you don't get that, like any of these kind of warping or bubbling or anything. Then I'll go back and very carefully come in and just get those rubbed in there very well. And once again, just set this where it's nice and warm and let that vinyl just really adhere to that and it'll become way more permanent. But once again, I've never really had an issue washing um, any of my stuff, but when it gets to skinnier letters, it can become a problem. So then all you're gonna do is just peel it away. And there it is. That's the best way to work on like a rounder surface like that, is just one at a time, come in and push those letters down just like that. All right, let's see. I learned that you can use a heat gun, low setting for a few seconds. That is smart, Brittany, good job. Okay, so Brittany is saying to take your heat gun on a low temp here, or even hold it up a little bit higher, and then just kind of go over that to heat that up. That's actually a really good idea, Brittany. I really like that. Okay, maybe even a hair dryer, just whatever you have on hand. Nikki, let's see, late to the party looks great. Thank you so much, Nikki. Okay, so there's that bowl, so let's set it out of the way. I just love that Raymond, so cute. And like I said, I looked up the popular bowls and stuff because I don't know what's going on, I'm new to this. All right, but there we go. And I'm just getting a little bit of alcohol on here and getting this rubbed on here just like this. All right, and once again, kind of let that dry a little bit. The next one that's gonna go on here is cereal. Now these ones I could have done in a giveaway, which I could always do another one, but I need bowls, okay? My kids are teenagers now, they help wash dishes, and here lately, I've had everything disappear. So I have no bowls, I think I have two. So I needed these bowls and I thought, I'm gonna definitely, I want these cute little sayings. So these are, these are for me. <laughs> so you know that I had to do the cereal. Cause I, like I said, I'd seen that one day and I loved it, but I was kind of like, I'm not paying that for a bowl. Like that's crazy. And uh, now I'm kind of regretting it. I'm like, that was probably a really good bowl. All right, so peeling off the cereal, just like that, you see, and I rubbed that in. And what I'm gonna do once again, I just kind of get that up there at the top, just the top pieces of the letters, and then I'll slowly work myself getting each letter down. Just like that. I think my L, I don't know if I'll be able to fix it or not. It's wanting to buckle. All right, there we go, I got it. There we go. Now, then I'm just gonna take them and rub them individually, just like this. rubbing them in all right and then pull it off 
And once again, Brittany said you could use a heat gun for that, which was a super smart plan. So there is the cereal. I'm, a, I'm so in love with this bowl. Like, I just love this cereal. It's so cute. I know that it's like literally simple, but that is so cute. So I am going to, so let me kind of show you these. I'm going to kind of get them like this. So we have cereal, mine, and then we have yum and Raymond. So cute. So you could literally set these. I know it's going to be hard to see, but I'm going to kind of get them like this. So you guys can set those up on your shelf. Aren't they cute? 88 cents at Walmart. You just cannot beat these bowls. But I'm imagining a lot of people probably buy these to do vinyl on already. So they may be hard to find. Um, but because like I said, I could only find two of the cups. There was only like six of these bowls and I should have grabbed the other ones. All right, so we're going to scoot that out of the way. We got the cups. So as for our cups, we have Thankful and Sweater Weather. Super cute. So you can see how cute that is. All right, so we're going to set those out of the way. All right, so now for the towels, let's move on to that really quick. And let me make sure that's not going to turn itself off. Okay, so for the towels, I did the, because I looked up quotes last night that was kind of popular for her. And it came up with, I didn't choose the Mug Life. Mug Life chose me, which I believe Ken did this one. And another one we're fixing to do where it says I overdone it, but we're doing a little bit different. So I didn't choose the Mug Life. The Mug Life chose me. I'm going to show you how I did these in design space. Let me bring that up so you guys can hopefully see that. I sliced tea and mom out of this and then I stacked these on top of each other. And there was this was free in Cricut Design Space. So I just did these cups right here, cute. And then I did that sweater weather because I know that's a popular one. You could use this around Christmas time, winter, and then this pumpkin spice you can use around fall. And like I said, I'm giving these away in that giveaway. And so now we got two more. So let's get these going. So I'm gonna scoot that back and move in my steady Betty all right so here is my steady Betty I've been using it for a long time she's been good to me because a lot of people still ask me what this is I get some newer people and um, and that's what it is now here in just a second I'm going to show you guys this reverse weeding so give me just a second all right so let's go ahead so this is what I do I'm going to get my towel down here just like this let me double check here let's see I have entire kitchen ready done oh my gosh love it um, let's see I think my kids throw the dishes away to keep I'm telling you we used to when we were kids we had a dishwasher that didn't work and we used to like put them in the dishwasher and hide them but I swear that's what my kids are doing so they don't have to wash them um, let's see I like the bowls did they did you say where you bought them yes Walmart 88 cents chalk labs uh, Mary she got them at Walmart okay thank you so much for Mary for doing that thank you Mary I see you're welcome I love when you guys help each other blesses my heart okay he didn't use this okay he didn't use the skinny he used another font I I like the skinny okay like I said I will find her because I wanted to recognize her um, and I don't think she's really a crafter but she did this video um, I think a year ago and um, so I do want to recognize so you guys can go check her channel out because she did find this font and it is like identical so it's pretty awesome and I linked that down below in the description so you guys can get to the font skinny directly all right here we go so what I did was I just laid my towel out like this and like I said I want to keep it like this because it's more of decor but if you were going to use it to if you're really going to use them you'll want to unfold it and get it perfectly lined up so all I did was kind of go over it just to kind of make sure that's straight and then let me make sure let me move my iron in a little bit better because I'm kind of a hot mess we'll start with farmhouse on this one so I've got farmhouse isn't it cute farmhouse so I'll come down right here on farmhouse and scoot this out of the way move my heat press up here all right here we go so let's get farmhouse done so I've got it on 305 for 30 seconds now let me tell you guys I it's hilarious let me grab the paper really quick because I gotta tell you all right, so on the back of this packaging, it says that it is made out of algondon, algondon, maybe saying that right, 100% algondon. I had to look it up to see what it was, so that way I can make sure I had it on the right temperatures. That's Spanish for cotton, so it's 100% cotton, just in case you guys are wondering. Um, okay, here we go. Ken, I knew what you were talking about, Chalk Labs. Okay, so here we go, so farmhouse just like this so I'm gonna leave it just like that now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how so say if you were using something like this because you don't want it to shift you would come in with your heat transfer tape here it's heat resistant is what it is so it looks like this it's like yellow and it's a really thick roll it'll last you a long time I think they're two for like nine bucks or six it's super affordable I have it down below so y'all can see but um, 
all you do is you take your little tape like this and then you're going to hold your pieces down that way they do not shift so if you're ever working on a shirt or whatever it may i've used it in a few videos back there so it's been like maybe a year ago but i've used them several times so if i'm working on something that may possibly shift i use this tape and like i said if you go look at anybody that uses a heat press they use this stuff all the time and it's great so maybe cricket might be coming out with their own all right so here we go so what we're going to do 30 seconds i'm going to get this down and hit go so i'm just going to kind of give it a little bit of pressure okay alagondon am i not i'm not saying it right am i uh, Al, uh, Gondon. Al, Al Gondon. I'm really going to try on that one. But, um, yeah, I seen that and I was like, well, what is that? So I went to Cricut's website to see if maybe they added that as one of their, you know, with, since they came out with the new press, I thought, well, maybe they added that. And then I Googled what the word was and it was cotton. So it's like, that's my life. <laughs> but at least you guys can know from this. All right. So once I'm done, see the little tape here, all you're going to do is just kind of grab it and peel just like that so it's ready to go it's farmhouse super cute all right let's move that one out of the way now we're going to work on one that is a two-piece so get my towel here and let's see it's a little longer back there so i think i'm going to adjust it about like this so you're just going to adjust it however you want it take my heat press like i said i'm just kind of making sure it's straight so that way it doesn't have any chance of like doing any bubbling or weirdness getting that going there and then what i'm going to do i'm going to have this a little more over towards the left just like this and i may need to trim some of this plastic because i want to do it all at one time and then nope i may be able to go under we'll see i want this to be right here on the side like this something about like that is where I'm wanting. So I'm just making sure nothing's overlapping. It looks like it may be bumping up here. So all I'm going to do just to be safe is I go back in and I'm going to trim off some of this plastic so I don't have to worry about it. So just like this, we're going to trim off some of that plastic. All right. Just like that. And like I said, I'm just coming over to the left a little bit and then just like that. So the same thing, what I did with these coffee cups that was free in design space, I just set them and then kind of alternated them and flipped the cup around and then uh, did a slice on this. So hopefully you guys can see this and I just put tea, mom, coffee, and wifey. Isn't that cool? So that way it kind of looks like her stuff. All right, so just like that. I think that looks good. So I'm gonna have it just like this. Now I had to do them black because white on white and then knock that out and so it's white, if that makes sense. All right, I think all of this should fit under here. So all I need to do at this point is, I'll take my same little tape here and get me a piece cut off, just to make sure these don't shift and nobody gets underneath nobody. So I'll kind of go like that and get another piece of this going. All right. And then I do just like that. It just takes a little bit. All right, just like that. Now, we're gonna take our heat press and I'm gonna hit go. Just giving it a little bit of pressure. All right, let's see, I'll go Don. I'll go Don. I'll go Don? Am I saying it right? I'll go Don. I'll go Don. Sweet, I love how you broke that down. Thank you so much, Nikki. All right, so I'm just holding this down for that 30 seconds. We got eight seconds to go. And just like that. All right. So all you gotta do is grab it up and peel that off. Super cute. There you go. All right. So now there's all our towels. I'll kind of bring these back in. Let me move this out of my way. And then I'll kind of bring these back in so you guys can see really quick. So we got, I may have overdone it. And I guess I got this laid over just a little bit, but it's all right. All right, and then pumpkin spice. So what happened when I was weeding these? And I'm telling, so when you're weeding regular iron on, when you're doing real skinny pieces like this, they may start to come off that plastic and I had to push them down. So you can see on this in here, hopefully you guys can see it. It had to fell over whenever I was weeding. So then it just ironed on down this way. So, but it's all right. So there's that. And then we have, sweater weather and farmhouse 
So like I said, you guys can win these. It's gonna be these towels and then these plates. So if you enter the giveaway down below, you can win all four of these plates here. The Halloween, the Real Bray done. And you can win all of these um, all of these towels. Once again, all you have to do is, it's mandatory, you have to be following me, uh, be a subscriber here on YouTube. And then um, go check out my Facebook page and my Instagram. I'm really trying to build that, guys. So if you guys don't mind checking that out, that would be awesome. Okay, Nikki, let's see. Um, Okay, cute idea. Thank you so much, Chalk Labs. And then Nikki, is that heat resistant tape? Mine always leaves residue glue on my project. Um, yes, it is heat resistant. Now this one is from a brand called Pam Eso. Um, so it looks just like this. It comes two in a package. Um, but as you can see, I haven't had an issue. So you can see where I put that down and I don't have any residue on mine. Um, are you peeling it off right away? Because I haven't, I've used it for a while now. So let's see, Nikki. Yes, it is heat resistant. The letter H did not transfer. The letter H. Which one? Overdone it. <gasps> you may. <may've... gasps> I'm so glad you noticed that. Where is my piper? I wonder. I need to go back and look in the picture. Did I pause? Nope. Here it is. Here it is. And I've already messed it up. So I'm not sure what I did here, but this is what we, <laughs> I'm going to have to recut it out. I'm going to fix this for whoever has it. But whenever I, you could see that it literally just stayed. It just kind of crumbled there. So it's not even H anymore. It's just as if it needed to be weeded. Like it's just still, like it didn't melt. It's kind of weird. All right. So we will recut that out. Thank you so much for catching that. I would have mailed these to somebody and then be like, well, what the heck? All right. Let's see. Too cute. I wonder why mine looks identical, leaves the yellow residue. Hmm. I have another brand that I ordered from too. I'll have to figure out what brand that one is. Let me grab it out of my drawer and see if it's the same size. Hold on one second. This is, hold on, let me put my mic back. This is the first brand that I purchased. This is the one that was just sent to me. Let me see where. See, these come two in a package right here. So these are the ones she sent me. This is the one which is obviously the same. I think just different seller. So I'm not too sure, but I will tell you on them. So check yours and see. It says Captain on it. C-A-P-T-O-N. You know, before you start opening it, see if yours says that and see if it's the same thing. And then let me know how that works out. All right, where do you get the white? Okay, the white towels came from Walmart. These come five in a package and they are called flower sack towels. So they're just in the same spot where the um, hand towels and stuff are. All right, so here we go. So there's this, and now all we have left is I'm gonna bring y'all over to Design Space really quickly. So let me switch you guys over to Design Space. All right, here we go. This is where I created the cups. So just like this, let me zoom y'all in. So all I did, and actually let me do it this way. All right, just so y'all can see that a little bit better. All right, so you can see how I staggered these. You could actually, let me ungroup that. I had attach these but you really want to weld them because if you don't if you attach them it will cut this line right here that's behind the cup and that's what happened to me um, but when you when you put them down you really can't hardly tell anyways but you really want to just weld them together so let me undetach so you can see that these cups are just sitting on top of each other like that so I just kind of staggered them in and then if you want to flip the cup all you would do is come up here to flip and hit flip horizontally and that way that handle can go in the other direction so that's how you would do that because that's how I did this one over here so let me go and show you you go to images I just put in mug up here in the search bar and then I went down and I till I could find something so this one right here is free it's access so all I did was click on this one click insert images I like this one because it was more of the shape of the cup a little bit funky and what I did you can see like how it's funky so it's not like straight lines and stuff what I did was I came and I hit ungroup and then I deleted this piece and then on this cup I came over to contour and I took away that heart and there was my cup. So then what I did I went to text and typed in say mom and it's already on the font skinny but if it wasn't you'd want to change that. I took that on the cup size it where you want it to be and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna select those two just like that, come to slice, and there you have it, mom. So um, 
just like that. So that's how you would create your, you know, Ray Dunn inspired cups for if you want to add those to anything. And then the font, as for the font, you're going to come over here to devfont.com, which the skinny is right here. And like I said, I have you linked directly to it. So that way you don't have to worry about searching. So you got theskinny.com and then um, you're just going to hit download. And when you hit download, it'll jump up here in your, if this is a Mac, it'll jump up here. And then all you're going to do is double click on the skinny. And then you're going to just double click on the OTF. It'll come up like this and you'll hit install font which I already have, so it's gonna say again. So I'm just gonna exit out of that and exit out of this. All right, just like that. Okay, here we go. So you got the skinny. So once you have that, you'll need to open Design Space for the first time because it won't go directly in there if you already have it open. Then you'll come to your text and you will search your font, obviously, right here and just type in the skinny. So you could type anything. There's so many cute ones. So like thankful, thankful, there we go just like that and there it is and you just want to put it in all caps so her stuff is in all caps so that's how you do it and then when it comes to sizing let me switch y'all back down here when it comes to sizing what I do is I take my handy dandy ruler that I use for everything and now I've got to find it here it is take my handy dandy ruler and what I do is I just kind of figure out about so I can kind of go like this you know and kind of figure out so I know that I want it at least you know around three to four inches uh, wide and then say I don't want to go no more than, if it was a font like this, I don't want to go more than like two inches. That's how I figure out. So I'd go by the length is what I go by the, I guess the width you would say, because this would be height. Um, and then as for something like this, if it was going to be something that was like a double font like this, I just kind of measure. So I like to stay right in here. So I just kind of measure and that is about two and a half by three. So that's what, that's all I do. Same thing with the bowl, the yum and the mine, I did a different size because the, it actually made them a little bit bigger, which was kind of weird. But um, you know, you just want to stay about two by two inches on those. I think that mine may be a little bit more, I'll check it in just a second. Now the Raymond, cause these don't come out as big as mine and yum when there's just smaller fonts. Um, it is around three and a quarter by one and a half. That's what I did on those. And then that mine, like I said, cereal is the same as Raymond. And then mine was two and a half by one and three quarters is what mine ended up being like. All right, so there was those. Now with these, um, I just kind of came down at the end of the towel and kind of figured out because you want to stay, I want to leave this open and kind of stay in between here. So like I said, once again, I'm just going by width. And that was about four inches what I did on those. But when it came to, you know, these, you know about what you want to do. So about four by four area. And then these, I try to stay about five to six inches is what I try to do, tall. Because when you do like say five to six inches tall, you're in here. And then on your width, you wanna stay about, you know, four to five inches on your width. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that you guys find that helpful. Now let me show you all that reverse weeding real quick. All right, so let me bring back, um, let me come back. Hold on, I was trying to figure out where I'm at. All right, come back to my fonts here really quick. All right, is that, yes, that is free images. If you have access, if you're an access member, it says it is an access, so it is free. And the skinny is free on uh, defont.com. That is completely free. Um, let's see, okay, thanks, we'll check. Love all these. Thank you so much, Gloria. Thanks, love them, thank you so much. Um, Jackie Rose, hello, everyone. And I already answered that, let's see, just saying, I can't get into Facebook page. Okay, I'll go back and fix that. Chalk Labs, I had a feeling on that, so thank you, I'll get that fixed. And then Chalk Labs, I had to go to Facebook and type it in. If you tried the link, it didn't work for me. I'll have to fix it, Brittany, because I'll have to go through it to, um, to like it, I think. So I'll get it fixed. So thank you for checking on that, Brittany. Um, thank you, Chalk Labs, for letting me know. And I've got to fix that H. I'm like, this is, this is what happens when you do lives. All right, so here we go. Let me show you the reverse weeding. I'm going to zoom y'all in really quick. So when you're messing with something that it's like a skinny font or something that's just a little bit tricky, instead of trying to weed around this because these are super skinny, I'm hoping you guys can pick that up with that glare because like this is that shiny one, but this is what you do. Leave it alone, just like that. You're gonna take your contact paper or whatever type of, um, whatever type of uh, transfer tape that you have. What you're gonna do is you're gonna lay it directly on top just like this. Just like that. Now you're going to go over the whole entire kit and caboodle, just like this, and you're gonna rub it in. 
really good because you're wanting those letters to stick. So I've got that. I think that's pretty good. Then I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to take it apart. Now, the whole entire thing is on here, just like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my weeding tool because, once again, I've lost everything. Let me see. Um, hmm. I'm like, how do I lose? Okay, here it is. I lose stuff. Every live video we do. All right, so I got my little weeding tool. Here we go. So all you're going to do is you're going to get a corner like you normally would if it was, if it was, and you want to kind of pick from the outside here like this. So you just got to get a corner going. Once you get a corner going, try not to touch everything. Just get that corner. I'm hoping you guys can see this. Get that corner. Hold on to your transfer tape, your contact paper, and then just start peeling. And see those letters just sticking and staying behind? You just want to make sure you rub it in there really well when you do this before you start it. And there it is. I didn't lose nothing. So this is with regular vinyl. And so basically it just mimics like if you were weeding um, iron on because then you're doing it on that on the sheet, the carrier sheet, if that makes sense. And then when it comes to the A, I've just got to kind of work to get that out of there just like that. There it is. So now it's on, it's already ready to go. So that is how you reverse weed. If you have anything that is very intricate or anything, let's see, gotta go, love your channel. Thank you so much, Gloria. And then, all right, so I think everybody, I got it. So just like that, that is how you reverse weed. Super easy, isn't it? And I did not lose nothing. So I just wanted to show you guys that. And now what I can do is I can save this for a later time and put it on whatever I want. So you can always put it back on your backing if you're not ready to use it just yet. And whenever I'm ready, I'll just peel it back off. So that is a great way to even prepare your stuff for something later or whatever it may be. All right, so there is that. So let me zoom us back out really quick. So I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much, Brittany. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. I know there's a bunch of these out here right now, but I just kind of thought I would join in on the fun and make my own and turn it into a giveaway because I was already going to make me some bowls. So why not make it alive and let you guys hang out with me? So once again, let's go over it. To win, you're going to go in the link down below. I'm going to fix the Facebook in just a second. You're going to win these towels as well as the real Ray Dunn black plates so just enter the description down below the main one you really have to do is is be following me here on um be a subscriber on youtube and on wednesday the 19th it will end so that way on the 20th when i come back and do the live that not this thursday next thursday but the thursday after we'll announce it there and i'll get these shipped to whoever whoever they belong to and let's look at our bowls one more time before we leave because i just adore them aren't those cute super cute 88 cents a bowl walmart and I'll write that down in the description just in case anybody wasn't here or got in here late and doesn't know. Or I guess you'll watch it back in the video. Sweater weather and thankful. So there they are. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below. And why did I just down below? That's like a thumbs down. All right. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.